preach, and this is another thing that's very important. I also think as a man, because life as a man is pain and suffering, and when I say that, because you're never going to be a good man or good at being a man without pain and suffering. You're going to have to go through a bunch of, of shit and have a terrible life to become a good man. I think you should embrace that and accept it. And I think that the, the correct mental model for men to have is a degree of stoicism and not to be too concerned with even how they feel. If I woke up today happy, if I woke up today and happy, I would have done this interview with you. If I woke up today sad, I would have done this interview. What's the difference? Why put so much importance on my emotion if certain things must be done? I must work. I must train. I must see Tucker Carlson. I must resist the matrix. You've got I, I've got things to do. So, who, so why are we going to sit around and talk about how I feel if it doesn't even affect how I act? And as a man, it shouldn't because there's too much to do. And the, the masculine world is hyper competitive. This is another thing most people don't understand. Totally agree. It's hyper competitive out here. All the women want a few men at the top. The Ferrari, you, you don't want a Ferrari to drive fast. You want a Ferrari because other men want a Ferrari and can't have one. It's hyper competitive. So if you're competing against every other man for every dollar you make, every girl you see, the house you live in, the car you drive, the life you live, you're not going to be able to compete with the person who performs regardless of how they feel if you only compete when you feel like competing. Right? Because there's men like me out there who will be sad every day and outcompete you regardless. I don't care how I feel. I will still win. And that's the kind of mindset you need to adopt. So I don't want a I mean, man come. You've got a job to do. Stop whining. Go to work. Completely. Yeah, I agree. Completely. I'm